Hey gang, what is poppin'? This is Adam Saleh and I am back with another video. I am actually ready to sleep right now, but I am doing the intro for you guys. And I wanna let you guys know that you guys are about to watch the full press conference of my fight, Adam versus Marcus, professional fighter here in the UK, who is the only person that stepped up and accepted my challenge. So I am so, so excited. I tried my best to do a live stream for you guys by myself because the only thing that is being live streamed is the fight on September 29th. Professionally, by the way, with a team of 15 because it's all for charity. So they're gonna make sure that it's good. So the press conference and weigh-in was not gonna be live streamed, but I tried my best to get a live stream, but it failed. It was lagging. I don't know what the heck was wrong with the connection in there, but it's all good in the hood because I recorded the whole thing and you guys can watch the whole press conference right here, right now on my YouTube channel. And while you guys are watching this, you guys can most likely watch the weigh-in and the weigh-in is probably already out so if you guys want you can go on my Instagram and watch all behind the scenes go follow me all everything you'll see everything first on my Instagram but yes yeah, so do me yeah. I couldn't do the live stream at least I tried but I still got it for you guys here thank you guys so much for all your love and support inshallah victory inshallah khayr inshallah I get out the fight with no injuries and also I can finally announce it to you guys that this fight is gonna be no head guards it will be my first professional fight this is my pro debut fight in the UK so I am so so excited I have so much more bigger news to come for you guys after this fight inshallah when I get the victory I will let you guys know for now I'm focused on this fight this is how focused I am before I'm about to sleep right now I'm about to go for a run the gym is closed but I'm literally about to go for a run in the hallway I'm just gonna run a few miles just to get you crazy, huh you're crazy what are you crazy? How are you running right now, bro? You know how late it is? Bro, I need to run like, at least two to three miles. Where are you gonna run? In the hallway. Bro, the hallway? is knocked out, bro. Wakas didn't sleep at all, bro. Get your, get your rest, bro. You guys are seeing this. They're watching this in the big... Huh? Bro. Yeah, yeah, he's running the hallway. Bro. <laughs> Sweating it's dedication. It's dedication. I'm telling you guys. Yeah, my, that come on, inshallah. You got that knockout, right? Inshallah, 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 bro. Inshallah, he just woke up real quick. <laughs> but seriously, yeah. this is the end of all the press conference and everything. But you guys are about to see the press conference right now while I go jog. So do me, gang. Thumbs up this video. Go enjoy it. Wakas and Nikki, they're gonna knock out. I'm gonna go run, and I'll see ya. You guys will see the press conference in the next shot. Let's get it. It's so On the 29th of September, it is a massive, massive fight. And let me tell you now, this fight, as every single other fight, is for real. And this is a very, very dangerous fight for both the fighters. So it gives me a pleasure now to introduce onto the stage the contender for the night, Marco! for the night and we have got many superstars but this brother is the real superstar who's decided that he wants to help support and save lives in his mother home country of Yemen and he's decided to put his own life on the line for it. Give it up for Adam Saleh! Um, main thing when I do train, I train with my hands, so I don't really do the kicking. Um, 
So yeah, I'm looking forward to it, but as I say, yeah, my, my, my fist is going to do talking on the mic. So Marcus, what's your prediction? What, what's, what's going to be the outcome on Sunday night? Hopefully he gets through the first round, but then he'll get stopped in the second. But I don't know how he'll get it. I'm a real fighter, it's different, so... Well, I want to... I want to say a huge thank you to you as well on behalf of Adam, my brother. When we spoke many months ago with Nas and we, we spoke about putting a show on, you were absolutely jumped at the chance of getting in the ring and doing something for Yemen and also to give your fans in the UK an opportunity to come out and actually support you. So, are you excited to hear about your journey over the last few months? Yeah, first of all, I just want to thank God. I want to thank Allah. We all woke up from our sleep by the will of Allah, and He alone restores our soul just by Him. So, all thanks to do to Allah. <laughs> Second of all, I just want to thank Amir King Khan. If it wasn't for him, all of this would not have happened. So, make some noise for Amir Khan. <laughs> and to the Amir Khan Foundation, make some noise to the Amir Khan Foundation. To the man Riz, let me hear you guys for the man Riz Malik over here. Um, I appreciate everything that they're doing. You know, all the charity that they do for Pakistan, Bangladesh, Africa, um, India, Somalia, everywhere, all around the world. But now we're doing this for Yemen. My country. I'm doing this for my country. Uh, to everyone who's watching this, I know you guys have an entertaining, you know, time to watch us. I want each and every single one of you guys to at least spread the word about our brothers and sisters in Yemen. Donate if you can to our brothers and sisters in Yemen because they need us. Absolutely. They need us. If we were in their position right now, yeah, my journey has been amazing. I've been training in uh, in Brooklyn, New York with our trainer, Saddam Ali, who is getting married. I see Pussy Mention saying, where's your trainer, where's your trainer, where's your trainer? <laughs> Trust me, we didn't get our trainer being around us, man. We can still kick some ass without him there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm telling you now, this dude right here to my right, I respect him for coming in the ring. I respect you, Marcus, you know? I respect you, man, too. I respect him. A lot of YouTubers don't want to step up to the ring because they're scared. But the fact that he's stepping up to the ring, I respect that. I respect that. But just know that in the ring, I'm going to eat you up like Moroccan couscous with knives. Oh, and I'm going to say, I'm going to say that we're going to get. Let's see you take the first back step, yeah? Let's see you take the first back step. I'm going to eat you up like a cheese sandwich, bro. Just put cheese on there, give me something to eat with it. Bro, how do you make a sandwich when you say it, bro? You mumble, bro. I'm, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Sunday, you got no one to back you there. When you step in them ropes, that's it, it's just me. Bro, bro, that's a good one, that's a good one. I don't understand where you're from. Is he from the UK? He don't got a UK accent to me. Where are you from? I'm, I'm, where are you from? I'm, this is my city. This is my city. My city, UK. I promise you guys. I call myself K.O. King for a reason. I don't do it for no gimmick or nothing, man. A lot of people think I'm some kind of pretty boy. By the way, I love but I promise you guys, on September 29th, this man right here is going night-night. Yeah. I, I, I don't know if you see it, but I'm like, what? That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, I've never done it before, and I won't do it. I won't be changing it. So I promise you, I promise you, you're in trouble. You're in trouble. You sweating right now, man. Yeah, He's sweating. What if we get in trouble, I'll be sweating. But you'll be sweating, but you'll be on the floor of sleep in your own sweat. I'll make you do the whole I don't know what the hell you said. You'll be doing a whole long shake up the canvas, boy. What? Wait and see. All this hard long beat down. You chat the fucking shit, bro. Listen, real fight is fight. You don't sit there talking all day long. I'll see you when I see you in there. Come meet me in the middle of the room and see you back. Bro, I like you, not me. Did you take English class? <laughs> we in England. You gotta speak English. Shit, yeah, it's crazy. I wanna hear all I would say is another thank you to my family for all their support. My mom, my dad, who's gonna be watching this live. Um, my brothers, my, my two brothers, my three sisters. Um, my nieces and nephews, every single one of them, for motivating me and keeping me sane throughout this whole training camp. I also want to thank every single one of you guys who came out here and showed me a lot of love. I promise you guys right now, you guys are seeing this right now, y'all hear me, record this, record this. Me and my brother Slim, we're going home with the belts.
I promise you guys, we are coming home with the belt. And we are gonna do it in fashion. You guys do not know what we got in store for you guys. He's sweating, look at him. <laughs> He's sweating. I just sweat, I'm not even sweating. He's scared, bro. Someone give this man a diaper, bro. Listen, so nobody went on the front of the stage and said, I don't know who this is. I don't know who this is. To be honest, I have a lot of people who sit there and chat and shit. But when it comes to Sunday in the ring, in your pool, you're fucked. That's it. You're fucked. Game over. Game over. Alright, boys. Lights on. Alright, boys. What we're going to do, what we're going to do, we are going to have a face off in a few minutes because you will have this on for all night. And let's wait until 29th September and let's get it on. And a message to everybody for Yemen. One last round of applause for Marcus. And Adam, I will now just leave Doomy gang, that was the press conference. Alhamdulillah, it is done. I am so, so excited. Two more days to go. Well, for you guys, it is tomorrow. So make sure you guys tune in tomorrow. 2 p.m. UK time, which is morning time for you guys in New York City. What's 2 p.m. UK time? Uh, five hours behind, do the math. Uh, two, two, I've been doing so much bicep, I can't do math. One, two, five, one, 12, three, 11, 10, four, five, nine, nine o'clock. That's 10. Nine. 10 o'clock. Oh, nine, nine o'clock. Nine. Nine a.m. Wow, but, that's not early, bro. Yo, but the undercards start 9 a.m. But then a few hours later, you guys will see me and Slim. Slim, you killed it in the press conference. Thank you, bro. You too, man. Mashallah, you too. bro. I cannot wait. It is fight night. Me and Slim ah. feel ready. All the hard work that we put in, it's about to come. Real life, man. Real life. It's about to come to real life, inshallah, man. Inshallah. Yeah. Also got Khalid. Sophia, man, Khaled, what up, man? What's, up, man? What's good, bro? So, Sophia, you guys, you guys killed it. Yo, what do you guys think? You guys, you guys it, was so it was so entertaining. It was like, great. I'm not even just saying that it was mad I'm entertaining. You guys killed it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They, they, it, it went off well. Like, yeah. Everything came yeah. out. That's good. That's good. I'm excited, man. Tomorrow's the weigh-in. I tried live streaming it, but it didn't go as planned. Literally, it was a big fail because I tried to do it myself. But on the day of the fight, we have a whole professional team. Right now, we're about to have an interview with BBC One Extra. Slim, the man, is about to go face to face with Fusi Two. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> it's again, gonna be dope, again. man. It's going... And this dude, tried... he tried to mention Sophia and stuff, and then Slim violated right back. I, 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 I took so many shots at him. You know what it was saying? so funny, it was man. It's funny, it's funny as hell. And he doesn't want to take off his shades, man. He's nervous. Every time we do a face off, he does not want to take off his shades. He's nervous. Fuzi, take off your shades, bro. Inshallah, he don't want to look me in the eyes, bro. You got this, bro. You, you got, got this, bro. man. I can't wait, bro. I can't wait. <laughs> Let's get it. Guys, we also have Wakas and the Keeb here, man. Of course, we got the whole New York City squad, man. Yo, man, what y'all think about all this, man? Oh, What's gonna happen? Crazy, man. Team so New York. Insane, man. Yeah. 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 Inshallah, inshallah. I'm already expecting knockouts from you and Slim, bro. Inshallah, right, man. Gonna inshallah, inshallah man. man. Let's get it, man. We got. This is like first time ever where we're all together in London. Yeah. You know, all the New York squad. You know, all the Khalid, Wakas, Nikim, me, Sophia, Slim. It's gonna be dope, man. Yeah. I can't wait. I can't wait. But Nikim, man, I feel bad. But next time, bro, you're still looking good. Don't you're looking like a Miami gangster right now? Uh oh. That's the villain right there. Tell me ready, bro. Bloody tampon, man. So you ready, bro? Are you ready, sir? <laughs> Hell yeah, I'm ready, bro. I'm so excited. I can't wait. Shout out Fuzzy, man. Thanks to you, I'm gonna fuck up Jake Paul after you. <laughs> Shout out Tangles. Start with the jab, end with the jab. <laughs> <laughs>
I'm gonna do that on Sunday. Yeah, what's yeah, poppin' yeah, man? Yeah, what's man, 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 the other guy, he's wearing a red suit. He looks like he come out of the mask. You know the mask? <laughs> he's the mask remix. <laughs> yeah, I'm done, bro. <laughs> so, me and Aziz. Two and three, probably. Mm -hmm. Seven and fourteen yeah. next. It's my first time doing an interview with Adam. Hey, oh, <laughs> let's get it, bro. We we'll take you, bro. We'll we'll team Infinity, baby. Let's go. Yeah, man. Here. One last message is night, night, motherfucker. That's all I gotta say. Night, night. Bring a fucking pillow with you. Fuzzy. Wait till Sunday, bro. I got you. I got you. Get ready I'm to apologize to, to your team. I'm Get ready to, to apologize to I'm your team. I'm counting down to days, bro. Get ready to apologize. I'm counting down to days. Can't fucking wait. Get ready to apologize. It's gonna be. It's, it's gonna be a big fight. Let's go. Slip. Slip. My eyes, bro. I'm so wearing shades. Okay. I hear that, but you know, Sunday there ain't gonna be no shades to hide from. There ain't gonna be no clothes to hide from. You guys are gonna be in the ring. You're both gonna be doing a great thing. With <laughs> you will see him on the ground, bro. You will see that motherfucker on the ground. And I ain't joking. Slam that. Come on, sir. Let's yeah. get it, sir. Come on, sir. Let's get it. Yo, that was a sick interview, bro. That was a good interview. Sick interview. Sick interview. Sick interview. The only thing I'm going to say on camera yeah. is sometimes when people talk too much yeah. and their actions disappoint me. So I but, but but when people talk a lot and they, and they do what they say, it's even better. That's even better because that means they're a character, they're entertainment. You know what I mean? Shouts to man like Khabib, he's always got the right things to say and he proves it in the 100%. ring. 100%. Yeah, yeah. That's what we going to do, Slim. Hell yeah. Let's get it. Inshallah. Inshallah. Alhamdulillah. Zoom again. I wish I would have brought my AirPods. But I don't have that with my regular headphones. I'm literally dragging to the hotel. The gym is closed. I gotta do what I gotta do. You know what I'm saying? I love you For you guys. September 29th, tomorrow. Tomorrow, go live. Live on my YouTube channel, Adam Salah Vlogs. If you guys wanna see Slim win and I, make sure y'all tune in. September 29, let's get it. It do me gang, I just got done with my little run here in the hallway. This was my last run. Make sure you guys tune in tomorrow. Tomorrow is the big, big day for Yemen. I am gonna upload a minute or two video before the live stream, letting you guys know to tune in to the live stream because at the end of the day, this is for charity. This is for Yemen, my country. And I want each and every single one of you guys who are watching this because y'all are instigated and y'all wanna see fights. I want you guys to help out in Yemen because they seriously need us. Even just by you guys spreading the word, that's gonna help. If you guys donate, even better. Amir Khan Foundation is a trusted foundation. They've been doing charity to a lot of countries all around the world and they've been doing a lot for Yemen right now because I'm the one that told them put Yemen on the map let's help them out the media they are not talking about Yemen but I'll talk to you guys more about it tomorrow other than that do me again I'm gonna end this vlog here I love you guys make sure you guys thumbs up let's get it it's time do me again it's time that's it the moment of truth uh, I can't say nothing here because I'm in the bathroom so I'm not gonna say nothing I'll see you guys tomorrow take care and peace love you okay.